Hey guys, Alex here. I just worked out. Now I'm going to go uh, in this very cold jacuzzi or I don't know, mini pool. I'm going to change the state of my body. Trying to see how cold it is. Oh, fuck. It's like ice. It's an ice pool. Anyway, what I wanted to share with you guys, besides me doing that shit, is the reminder of not making decisions, especially important decisions when you're feeling stressed or anxious or angry or sad or lonely or disappointed don't make decisions that you know will matter in one way or another from a very low state of self-esteem or from a very bad vibration you know whenever you're feeling negative things, negative vibes, do not make very significant choices and they can seem small or big but at the end of the day if you know that making that choice can take you in a different direction in your life or in your relationships or in anything really in your way of thinking or behaving then my suggestion to you is to first before you make that decision before you make any decision that is meaningful for you to find a way to feel better and you might think that making those decisions will make you feel better because that's why you want to make them because it's pleasurable or because you're going to gain something or you're going to distract yourself or you're going to be less lonely apparently or be less anxious or angry or stressed or disappointed or whatever or sad but in reality it will just make you feel good in that moment or for a very little period of time so after making that decision you will feel like worse you know you won't feel better you won't feel stronger you won't feel more free and you will just continue burying you know running away from the feelings that you don't want to feel so my suggestion to you is whenever you're feeling bad whenever you're feeling anxious stressed angry sad etc for you to feel those feelings for you to Become aware of why you're feeling the things that you're feeling. Ask yourself the question, okay, honestly, why am I feeling these things? And you might come with different answers. You might come up with different answers. Again, depending on how you're feeling in the moment. But here's a better way to ask yourself why you're feeling the way you're feeling or what you should do in one moment or another ask yourself this what would and we all have different parts within us different sides for example there's a part of you that's love there's a part of you that's a genius there's there's a part of you that's a warrior and so on and so on and so on so you can ask yourself okay what would my love do in this situation how would my love respond to this situation how would my love behave now that i'm feeling like this how would my love 
perceive this that's happening. One second. And that way, you will use a different part of you, a wiser part of you, a more powerful part of you, and you won't just automatically answer these questions from an ego point of view because that's what usually happens. Your ego takes control and answers these questions in a very negative way that makes you feel worse and that gives you kind of the justification of doing shitty things, of taking shitty actions, of having shitty perceptions and that's why it's very important for you to not just go with the first response that your brain gives you, that your mind gives you, because in most cases, if you haven't practiced this, what will respond is your ego. What will respond is your insecurities, or are your insecurities and your fears, and the part of you that doesn't feel like it's enough. So you have to ask your love and your genius side of you and your beautiful part of you, hey, what does this mean? This situation that is difficult, what does this mean? And how should I respond and how should I behave? And I think that if you practice enough and you do it with intention and you do it uh, from really that point of view, you know, from uh, that side of you that's powerful, connecting with that side, of you, like for example with your love, I think you will find, I think you will have much greater answers and your results will reflect that, alright? I love you, I appreciate you, rock it, and I'll talk to you soon.